Hello again guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. I've actually got something quite exciting to show you guys today. Well, I think it's quite exciting. I have found the most excellent spot to start my farm. I've been looking for a bit of a flat area for a while and I've been doing a little bit of exploring and I think I've found somewhere that is just the place. I'll show you that shortly because there's a couple of things that I want to do before I go out there. Getting rid of my XP is one of them. Uh, first of all, I've been tidying up some of these chests. If you can see, some of them are almost empty now. What I want to do is uh, empty them out completely, move these chests back against the wall and put some more chests in the middle and uh, actually separate things by type. As you can see, I have a chest here for building wood, uh, stone and building materials. A um, lot of cobblestone here. I think I might have to dev null some of it just to uh, make some space. I've uh, got another chest over here that I'm using for all of my tools and armor, uh, weapons and uh, this is the one for all the ores and minerals. This one's going to have all the plants and stuff in. And these ones are still just full of random stuff that I haven't got room and haven't been able to move. Uh, but we're working on it. Uh, secondly, I have got rid of the staircases now on all floors and replaced it with this ladder built into the wall. It does make it a lot quicker and easier getting up and down between the floors. Uh, we do still have the elevators, by the way. And uh, this is the, the bottom floor, but I have gone ahead and used the rest of my ender pearls to make some more lifts so I can go up and down between what have we got. So that's the, this is the, the sort of basement where the smelter is. And then we've got the ground floor, so that's uh, uh, two, three, four, five. So we've got five elevators now that we can go up and down between. But before we go ahead and start on the farm, there's a couple of things that I want to build for use on the farm. Now, what I want to do is have a sprinkler, and that's part of open blocks. And apparently, there it is, I've just gone past it. The sprinkler will help fertilize crops up to four blocks away. Simply place it over an open blocks tank filled with water. You can also add bone meal for an even faster rate of growth, and it acts as a water source block. So that's going to be really, really good. So first of all, we are going to need some um, open blocks tanks. I'll need some sand for that because I need some glass unless I have glass already. I do have glass, uh, but I need glass panes. So let's go ahead and make these into glass panes. I think you just put six in the bottom if I remember rightly. Yep, there we go. Got some glass panes. Saying that, dump that in the wrong spot. I probably had glass panes somewhere in another chest. So I went back down to the lava fields with my trusty bucket of water and my uh, diamond pick. And wow, mining obsidian is the most tedious thing. Even with a diamond pick, it takes that long to mine it. And then when you end up getting... Um, you spend 10 seconds mining a block out just for it to land in lava. And it's the most annoying thing. So there is a, an, an open blocks tank. We've actually got two of them, and uh, I don't mind that. I actually wanted two tanks because of the way that I plan to build everything. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is build the sprinkler. Now, that should be relatively easy. We do need some iron bars, and I did have quite a few left over from when I made the uh, XP drains. Uh, we will need a redstone. Let's grab a stack of redstone, actually, just to make life easier. We will need a redstone torch for the middle like so and I'm absolutely flipped if I can remember the rest of the recipe so what was it so the torch in the middle and it's just uh, just iron bars how many iron bars do I have in my inventory one short as usual so let's just go down as you can see going down here can be a little bit clunky but let's go ahead and grab um, we'll probably grab two lots of iron bars actually because we've got to make the aqueous accumulator itself now, it shouldn't be too difficult. That's part of thermal expansion, but I think it is one of the most basic items that you can build in thermal expansion. It doesn't require power either, which is nice. Uh, one thing that I'm not certain of, because I haven't tried it, I don't even know if the aqueous accumulator works with the open blocks tanks. If it doesn't, we'll just have to put water in the tanks manually and see what else we can do. Uh, so let's go ahead. We want the redstone torch in the middle. We want the iron bars top and bottom, and then we want the iron ingots down on both sides, and that gives us our sprinkler. Thank you very much much so we've got the sprinkler we've got the tanks now we need the aqueous accumulator so i'm going to go and try and remember the recipe for that well i'm not i'm going to go and cheat and look at not enough items uh, so we need a bucket that's fine we need some glass we need a pneumatic servo and a machine frame well the pneumatic servo should be fairly easy two iron bars a redstone and two blocks of glass it should be so uh, well two iron ingots Two blocks of glass and one redstone in the middle. Yep, there we go. You can use different types of glass, but just standard glass works absolutely fine. Um, I believe we need some copper gears as well. 
Sounds like there's lots of skeletons and things outside. Well, they can stay out there. I'm not going to bother with them for quite some time. Yeah, there he is. He's down there. Well, we'll wait till the sun comes out and they'll get screwed over. So, let's go down here. And, of course, luggage is still scurrying around. What is that skeleton doing? Swimming in my pool. Okay, fine. He does have a rather fetching hat. I wonder if we can kill him. And... Yep, yeah, you missed. Luckily, his aim's almost as bad as mine. I'm not going out there. there was a... If he dropped anything useful, lug... luggage would have gone and picked it up. So, that's fine. Okay, what do we want to do now? We want to build... Well, we've got the bucket. The glass is not a problem. Two copper gears. Now, copper gears are made from a basic gear surrounded by copper. And basic gears are made from um, stone and stick. So it's not the same as making a wooden gear and then making a stone gear. This requires stone and sticks. Well, we've got plenty of wooden. We've got plenty of cobble. That's not going to be a problem at all. So let's go ahead and um, grab some wood, grab some cobblestone. We'll turn those into six. We will need some more copper bars. Let me go ahead and grab some copper ore. We won't need quite that much, but I'll go and throw some into the uh, into the smeltery. So it shouldn't make any um, alloys, hopefully. Uh, but we'll see what happens there. If it does, I'll just stick some in the in the furnace and, and smelt it manually, like the good old days. Uh, where were we then? So there's a we need a bucket. I've got a bucket there. It's actually a bucket full of water, though, which is not ideal. So let's just go ahead and, and make another bucket. So we've got ourselves a bucket. We've got the glass. That's fine. We're working on the gears. We need a machine casing. Now, machine casing, that's the wrong one. We've got to be careful with not, in, not enough items because, as you can see, this is changing between a basic, a resonant, a reinforced, and a hardened machine frame. If I wait until it's on like resonant and hit, you can see it needs like a an endarium gear, and endarium gears need endarium ingots, and you know it's stuff that's hard to get. So just make sure when you're on these things, wait until it's on the actual the easy one, basic frame. There you go. And all the basic frame is is basically four pieces of glass, four iron ingots, and a tin gear. And a tin gear is made from a basic gear surrounded by tin. So we need one tin gear, we need two copper gears, so we need to make three basic gears. So we are going to need to get ourselves a few sticks. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will make ourselves some basic gears. It's, it's, it was always going to be the wrong way around, wasn't it? There we go, that, that should do it. There we go, basic gear. So let's go ahead and um, make three of these. So there we go. We now have three basic gears. Now we need to make... Um, oh, I do actually do have enough copper in here. So we need to make ourselves two copper gears. And we also need to make ourselves a tin gear as well. Tin gear is going to be upstairs. So, well, the tin is going to be upstairs. We do have tin in here. Yes, we do. So let's go ahead and basic gear. Surround it by tin. There we go. We've got ourselves a tin gear. I guess we can go ahead and put the tin and copper back in there now because we don't need it really. Also go... Oh, this is the only problem is remembering how to get off ladders. It's tricky at the best of times. We don't need the rest of that. So we have our tin gear. We have our copper gear. And uh, we need to make the machine block first, don't we? So we want the, the basic machine frame. There we go. And we're just going to hit that question mark, as people say, because it goes into the crafting table and puts the right uh, the right stuff in there for me. So we need four pieces of glass, which is nice and easy, the tin gear in the middle, and the four iron ingots in the corners. That gives us our machine block. And then we just need to put the bucket at the top, the machine frame in the middle, the servo goes at the bottom and i've instantly forgotten what the rest of it is um machine frame that's a weird icon but that's what it's supposed to be uh, the machine frame the bucket the two glass go either side the two gears and the servo and there we have our aqueous accumulator that is fantastic so that's all we need really um couple of things that I'm just going to quickly check because it's still night time, but I will go and sleep in a second. Let's just have a look what's happened with that. Uh, yeah, the copper did smell on the top. That's fine. That's what I wanted it to do. 
Sounds like the sun's coming up. Because we've got some skeletons cooking outside. What I might do is make a bookshelf at some point. Because we've got a few different books that we can put up. But that's that. So we've got the aqueous accumulator. Let's just drop anything we don't really need. Don't need the rest of that redstone. Um, we don't need that glass. But I'll just put that in this tank. Oh, I did have some more glass panes. I knew there was some around somewhere. Um, we'll get rid of the wood and the cobblestone. We'll keep the obsidian somewhere safe for now. And uh, I need to actually actually need to make some fences. Because if I've, I've built myself a, a hoe. But if we need to um, build a farm. Because the place where I want to build the farm. There are quite a few animals and things around. So I want to make sure that we can protect it from. Um, I might as well just make, make those into sticks as well. I want to make sure that we can just protect it from. All the animals and stuff. We don't want everything eating our crops. So we don't want it being blown up by uh, by creepers and stuff as well. Uh, because creepers are just a colossal pain in the arse. So let's go ahead and make some um, some fences. I'm not necessarily sure if that will be enough. I can't be bothered to do the math. Uh, let's take some wooden blocks. And then I can show you guys the absolutely amazing area that I found. And at least I think it's an amazing area. There's a skeleton outside again. Let's get some more sticks. Let's go ahead and make another load of fences. I so said it was really difficult trying to find somewhere that was flat because everywhere I looked was sort of very uh, hilly,ous and it was very, very difficult to get somewhere to build. Um, so that wooden stuff can go back in there. Let's go ahead and deal with our uh, with our guests. I say guests. Oh, hello. No, no, we don't. We don't need your kind here. Go away. There's a bat out there as well. I've already had a few creeper detonations outside of the house recently, and it's been quite annoying. Um, so there we go. Let's uh, let's get back inside. Oh, there's this. I keep meeting this guy. His name's Slowpoke. He's obviously not a not a player. It's part of a mod, and um, he is aggressive. He does attack. There's a couple of them around. I'm not sure what mod those things are a part of. Also, I don't know why they're there and what they're supposed to do. So, if any of you guys know. Don't keep it to yourself. Let me know what is the purpose of that mod. Anyway, we are going to zip up to the very top floor because it is daylight now. And we're actually going to continue climbing up here. And um, I've dug all the way to the surface. Remember, we're eventually we are going to work our way up here. But we've got a hatch sort of lost style. And um, we've got this, uh, this log drawbridge that I've made across to the hillside on the opposite side of the house. If you remember a few videos ago, I did say that I wanted to build up here, and I still do. I'll build my way across. If I move over here, you can see already what we've built with the uh, with the white tower. And I intend that to go all the way up. But as you can see, I had a little look up there. did a bit of deforestation because I needed the wood to make the bridge. Um, but it's not flat up there at all. It's very, very uneven. Uh, but I came across to this side, and this side is absolutely amazing. Um, there's pigs here. There is a ton of sheep. There are um, chickens here. There are cows here. We have got an excellent place for a farm. There are a few caves and stuff, which I do need to sort of explore and just make sure that they're clear and there's nothing useful down there. We've got this amazing structure over here on the, um, the east side. And this area just looks absolutely fantastic. I've already been over there and uh, put down a load of torches. Because as you can imagine, it was like zombie central because of all the shade. Um, and uh, yeah, th there were so many zombies and skeletons down there. It was literally like an undead nightclub. So I had to go over there, kill a lot of zombies, a lot of skeletons. There were witches, there were creepers. It, it was just nasty. And I I've put all these random torches around. You could probably see a few of them just to try and remove some of the shady areas. But what an amazing place. I mean, look at that. That really does look fantastically cool. Um, over here, there are loads of sheep, as you can see. I actually took my shears out and got loads and loads of wool from all these guys. And already their wool has grown back. So we're not going to run short of wool uh, any time soon. Uh, we've got like, I think I think these are blueberry bushes. Yeah, blueberry bushes. There's pumpkins growing here. There's wild carrots. There's some pumpkins over there. Um, there's a patch of wild carrots somewhere. Uh, and I think this is gonna, going to be a really, really good uh, spot to do our farm. As you can see, just look at the mini-map. Just look at the number of sheep, pigs, and um, chickens that are around. And we've got water here as well. So this is going to be a really, really good spot. I did mean to bring a bucket with me, and I actually forgot, which was stupid. But there is water here, and I have actually built a crafting bench over near the bridge. So we're going to build our farm. 
And we're going to build it over near the bridge to start with. And uh, we'll expand further away from the bridge as we go. Like I said, there are these caves and things around. So we do have to be a little bit careful what is around. There's also a real problem with skeletons and witches and all sorts of stuff. There's a creeper down there that I can see. In fact, take that back. There's two creepers down here I can see. Uh, might be able to take them out without uh, too many creeper detonations. There's another skeleton coming. Okay, there's the creeper's gone. That's just taken the torch out, which is fantastic. Got a zombie in here as well. Soon to take out the skeleton because that annoying knockback is annoying. Um, how deep does this cave go? I don't have many torches really, so I can't do an awful lot of exploration down here. Um, and I am stuck. Oh, we have a creeper. What a what a what a fascinating change. That's the wrong item. Well, at least the creeper's now gone. There's some zombies around somewhere, and apparently. Um, if you didn't, if you guys didn't know this, I'm not very good at this game. Uh, there's some sort of zombie in golden armor. Should be able to kill him off. I've now ran out. To, oh no, my torch did survive. It is down there on the floor. Let's go ahead and pick that back up. So we've got a skelly in here. He shouldn't be too much of a problem. There's another creeper down there around the corner. I'm losing a lot of health here. I've got to be careful. Let's just go ahead and pop this torch down here. And, uh, yeah, there is a creeper in there. So let's get back out to the surface because that's not the reason why I came here. We will have to sort these caves out at some point. But the main purpose of coming here was to build the farm. So let's go ahead and try and find a relatively flat area. And, uh, like I said, I've got a crafting table over here. I will need to go ahead and make myself another bucket. We have got water over here, so that's fine. So there's a bucket. We can get ourselves some water. Let's go this way a little bit, see if we can find a bit of a flat area. This area will do quite nicely. So let's start thinking about how we're actually going to make the space for our farm. We've got our shovel. I am going to dig a hole. So this is going to be ground level, but we're going to dig the hole down because I need to make sure that I have space for the aqueous accumulator. And uh, then we'll put the soil on the top. It doesn't help when luggage gets in the way because he's a complete and colossal pain in the arse sometimes. So I'm going to dig this out. There's my shovel broken. Luckily, I brought a spare. At least I was prepared for that eventuality. So let's go ahead and um, get rid of that. Now I want to make an infinite source of water. So let's go ahead and grab my bucket. Like I said, there is some water around somewhere. Um, probably looking at the minimap would make the most sense. Is that water down that I can't get to? There's a lake over in this direction. There we go. Should have just brought the water with me. Would have made life a lot easier. But there is a little lake over there. So we'll go ahead. We'll fill up that 3x3 um, three three slot with water. We'll put the um, aqueous accumulator in the middle. We will put the two blocks of open blocks tank above it. Which will mean one block will stick out above the surface. And then we'll put the sprinkler on top of that. Now, I might need to go back and get some redstone, actually, because I think the um, I think the sprinkler actually needs a redstone signal. And I haven't actually bought some redstone with me. But if that's the case, I'll, uh, I'll just pop back to the house and edit that out. And in fact, just to save time, I'll just edit out me running backwards and forwards a dozen times with the water. So back shortly. Okay, guys, so I uh, didn't quite manage to finish filling the hole with water. I somehow managed to break one of the water blocks and had to go back again. But nighttime started to fall, so I went back to the house until all of the uh, zombies and things went away. Went and slept it off. And um, now I've got a duck in my uh, in my sort of water source laying eggs. Come to that. There we go. We now have an infinite water source. Uh, let us go ahead and just grab that out of there. We can, uh, we can get ourselves back out and back in. And uh, we'll see if this works. I also, while I was out, went and got uh, a, a lever. So we can use that as our redstone source, our redstone signal. And um, we are going to have to kill that chicken, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy, but you're, you're, in, you're in my water source. There we go. I've got to do this again now, just to get all that junk out. Now I've got the problem that uh, luggage is going to be standing in the, that hole. So I need him to come over here. Come on, luggage. There we go. I could just pick him up. So what I do now, if he gets annoying, I just pick him up and put him somewhere. So let's go ahead and take the aqueous accumulator. That's going to go in the middle there. So that should do its thing. Now let's take these open block tanks and pray that they actually work. So the aqueous accumulator is filling up with water. Fantastical. And it does fill the open block tank. That is fantastic. Let's go ahead and take the soil. 
And what I want to do is build this soil around the open blocks tank, like so. And I'm one piece of soil short, which is amazing. Especially considering I dug all the stuff out of that hole in the first place. So that tank is filling up nicely. And if we go ahead and take the sprinkler and put the sprinkler on the top... And we can put bone meal in the sprinkler as well, which we will do. In fact, I don't even think it needs a redstone source because it seems to be working all on its own. Uh, what about if we go and put the lever on it? Can we turn it on and off? Because it's going to run out of water very quickly. Now, that doesn't turn it off, but that could be because the lever isn't actually next to the um, sprinkler. Let's just go and try that. No. Okay. Doesn't seem to be a way to turn the sprinkler on and off, but that is fine. So, let's have a look now and see how much space we need to um, hoe out to get that to work, and then we can build our little fence around it. So, we should be able to um, hoe... It says up to four blocks. Not sure how convinced I am by that, but we'll have a look. And um, as I go around breaking all these seeds, luggage will go around picking everything up because that's what the luggage does. Now, we won't run out of water, but I don't want to put the bone meal in just yet. I want to wait until we actually have... Um... Now, are we actually watering these areas? Because some of these areas are already becoming um, sort of undone. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it doesn't work if it is high up. Maybe it has to be on the same level as the soil, in which case we'll have to remove one of the tanks. We can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and... Um, I'll say, where's my sprinkler gone? And uh, it's been eaten by the luggage. Let's go ahead and put the sprinkler on there this time. There we go. And now we'll try and uh, re hoe the ground. And so it should, does count as a water source plot. There we go. It is now actually starting to water the surrounding area. Although, relatively slowly, it has to be said. But let's continue to um, hoe out as much space as possible. And we'll try and get the, the four blocks. We'll have to surround it all by fencing because we don't want it to be um, eaten by sheep and stuff. And I've already got lots of seeds, but just remembered that all of the seeds that I wanted to bring with me, I've gone and left uh, back at the house. But that's not a problem. We can go ahead and grab those. Just going to grab a few more soil blocks here. Will you stop doing that luggage? Oh, you've got loads of dirt blocks. There you go. Have the cobblestone instead. So let's go ahead and do that. Not throw my seeds on the floor. So we'll have another one there. And we'll have a couple over here. And what are we up to? This is going to be three blocks. Wow. It's actually quite a big farm, really, when you think about it. So that's only three by three. And we need to go four by four. It does say up to four blocks away. I'm not sure what it is that makes it um, only up to four blocks. Maybe it's the amount of water that's available. There doesn't seem to be any way to adjust its um, pressure or range or anything like that. So I can't assume that I have to do anything else. One thing that I also forgot to do was build a gate. But let's make some space. There we go. Uh, what are we up to still? One, two, three, four. We're going to have to build another couple of blocks in here as well. Dear, oh dear. Lots of random seeds. Okay, this will be four going this way. I'm just going to let luggage run along behind me and pick everything up because it'll save me doing it. And that is four. I think that's four by four all the way around. There's a zombie getting burnt. Very, very cool. Not sure where he came from. Obviously came up from out of the uh, out of the caves. And there's luggage picking everything up. I didn't actually build a gate, so let's go ahead and just do that quickly. Do I have any wooden blocks on me? 
So I always have all the materials I need apart from when I need them, which is great. But I have to go back and get the seeds anyway. So let me go back and do that and then we will come and finish off the farm. Okay, we have our fence gate and I've picked up my seeds. Let's see how much of this we can get done before night falls. Uh, I will be making at some point the open block sleeping bag as uh, suggested by Mike. I just haven't got around to doing that yet. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like a one, um, a one tile space all the way around where we can actually uh, still walk. Which means I've just put that gate in the wrong place. And the reason I'm cutting it down with a pick is... Because I'm just trying to save my uh, my funky axe. Um, so level with the uh, with the sprinkler, I think, on that tile there would be ideal. Um, you chickens are going to have to have to beat it really because you, you're just kind of in the way. And um, yeah, night is still falling. We need to get our fence panels in. Well, that's not quite what I expected to happen. There we go. We can uh, just shut the gate there. Let's let's see if we can get all the way around here before night falls. I do have my seeds with me, um, but we may have to come back. Um, we may have to come back during the day because it's already getting very very dark. And um, just make sure we've got the space here to get around. We're also going to need some more fencing and I need to put some more dirt blocks down here and I've just gone and dropped off all my dirt blocks. So once again, I'll be back to the house and back during daylight. Okay, well, it's morning again. I have a lot more fence panels now. Let's, uh, let's have a little bit, of, uh, little bit of cooked chicken for breakfast and uh, onwards and upwards. Looks like I left the hatch open all night. That probably wasn't a clever idea, was it? But uh, let us um, get up here. I will make a, a more convenient way across once we've built the house up a little bit higher. As you can see, there are still a few little creepers and stuff around. But it should be safe. At least the good thing is we can see where the farm is now because of the, uh, the sprinkler making it quite obvious. And it certainly seems to be watering the area that it's supposed to be watering, which is really cool. So let's continue to build this fence around. And uh, it needs to go on this tile. And we're still picking up some seeds. Now, I have all different types of seeds, and I don't even know what half of them do. So we will be using some random different um, seeds and stuff to find out what we can grow. So let's go ahead and build all the way around there. And uh, I hope we have enough fence. I didn't actually count it out. I just took the stack of wood that I had left and turned it all into sticks. And yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we have enough space here. I think I'm not sure this wild grass will all probably grow back, but we'll we'll get rid of as much of it as we can, just because it looks it looks unsightly. So get rid of all the wild grass, and of course we do get seeds from that. So we have a lot of seeds here. We have. Um, we have seeds, we have carrot seeds, we have potato seeds. I think we'll do the potato seeds. We'll definitely do the carrot seeds. Uh, we've got barley seeds as well. We've got um, belladonna seeds, whatever they are. We've got mandrake seeds and all sorts of stuff. Uh, one thing that I will do, um, I've got the bone meal. I thought I had some bones as well. I must have gone and dropped them off somewhere. But let's go and click on the sprinkler. We'll put the bone meal in there. Not too sure how quickly it gets through it. Probably relatively quickly. There's an egg over there that I could see Luggage was desperately trying to pick up but couldn't quite manage it. Uh, we do need to get rid of these um, dirt blocks of course because there's no point having a fence if there's uh, dirt blocks and things can just use the dirt blocks to climb over them. That's just silly. Um, so let's go ahead and start planting these seeds. We'll start with the uh, with the potato seeds. Now, I, I'm well aware that there are probably things that you can do to aid the growth of certain plants, like using, um, used to be able to put like sort of crop sticks in and stuff like that, but um, I haven't got that far yet. I just wanted to try and get the sprinkler working. Uh, but that seems like a, a relatively good way of doing it, using the, um, using the open blocks tank and the aqueous accumulator, because I'll never have to put water in it. I will have to put bone meal in it, but... That won't be uh, too much of a problem. Um, we've got snowbell seeds here. I'm not sure if they're going to grow into anything useful. Uh, we've got the barley seeds. We've got the mandrake seeds as well. Um, let's go ahead and put in these uh, these mandrake seeds. I don't even know what half of these plants are used for. 
I just wanted to get some stuff growing. Um, let's go ahead and um, put these seeds in. I probably need to need to go back and get some more seeds. I will probably at some point also think about getting um, multi farms up and running because the game still has the well this mod pack still has forestry in, so I assume that uh, that is still going to work. Have I really run out of seeds already? That's appetite. That's not going to do anything. We've got wolf spain seeds. Let's go and put that down. Uh, come here, luggage. You've probably got a ton of. Are you just running around in the water? Have you got any seeds on you? Yeah, you have. You've got carrot seeds. You've got cotton seeds. Fantastic. And uh, you've got some uh, eggs there, which we can, uh, which we can break. And uh, there's some more seeds out there, which we could probably go and get. Let's plant all of these first. So, so much for planting anything in sort of a logical order now, because these seeds are going to be all over the place, basically. Uh, where's the gate gone? There. Don't have any coal. I should probably think about making some more, um, some torches at some point. Let's, uh, a uh, couple of chickens. There we go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we need to get rid of these as well, just to stop things jumping in. And, uh, we can go and just break some of this, these tiles, just to see if we get any seeds and stuff very often do. There's a few more there. A few more that we're picking up. Just lots of random stuff. That's the good thing about the grass in this game. You just go around and smash all the grass and you just get so many seeds and things. I've probably missed most of it, but anything that I've missed, I'm sure that the luggage would have gobbled up as he went around. Um, so let's just go and put in whatever we have. Water artichoke seeds. Not sure if they... Yeah, they won't actually plant. I think they actually need to be in the water. Or at least near the water. Um, more barley seeds. We've got random seeds, which just could be anything. Um, mandrake seeds. Potato seeds. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put in the, uh, the potato seeds. And we'll put in the mandrake seeds. We've got a little row of stuff left. We can put in these more belladonna seeds, more carrot seeds, uh, snowbells. And we have um, four more spaces. Have you picked anything up? You've picked up some potato seeds. Um, literally just need a couple more, um, couple more lots of seeds that, that are plantable, of course. Because water artichoke isn't very useful to us right now somehow actually managed to destroy a uh, dirt block there. I was that uh, efficient with my clicking of the shovel. Okay, looks like we've picked up a few more seeds there then. Let's go back into the farm. And what have we got? Carrot seeds again. And um, mandrake seeds. And cotton seeds. There we go. It's a little bit of uh, an eclectic garden mixture. And uh, how much bone meal is in there? Still four, so it, it uses it relatively quickly. We only put eight in there, but um, I'm quite pleased with that. We have ourselves our first little farm. I don't think I'm going to bother rounding up all of the sheep and the pigs and everything like that. We might do that at a at a later time. Um, but I think for the time being, uh, they're, they're fine where they are. And what we might do as well on one of these high points, maybe up on top of that high point right the way up there, we could possibly build our quarry. Because the, the idea of a quarry is you want to try and build it on the highest point of land possible. Because the higher you build it up, the more blocks are going to be below it and therefore the more stuff you can mine out. There's also a really uh, cool looking area all the way over there. You can just see where I'm pointing the, um, the crosshair at at the moment. That sort of this big mountain uh, thing, like a big mesa really, over there in the distance. Can't quite tell what that is on top of it. Not sure whether it's a building or just something random, but uh, maybe we could go ahead and get a quarry on there. Of course, that's a hell of a lot of transport pipes to uh, to build it uh, over to where we're going. We also need to remember, of course, that we want to try and keep, um, keep everything where chunks are going to be loaded or loaded often. Uh, I don't want to end up building stuff miles away where I have to use lots of world anchors just to keep the chunks loaded because even though it does the job, uh, it does cause quite a bit of server lag. Um, Again, bit of a zombie party going on down there. Uh, I was just going to say, why aren't you burning? But you are, that's fine. Um, I'll probably leave the creepers down there to uh, do their thing. Would you please stop setting me on fire? That is very, very rude. Um, 
but yeah, we'll sort those caves out at some point. I'm not too sure what's going to be down there. I might just block some of these caves off depending on what we want to do with the area later. But I, I think this is going to be a fantastic place to have all of our farms just because it's, it is the flattest area around. And um, there's quite a view up here as well. I haven't really showed you guys. So just before we end the video, uh, let me just go and show you guys what, uh, what we can see if we go sort of right over here to the top. And... Um, you can see, we can see the lavender fields. There's lots and lots of lavender around. We've got some uh, little waterfall going on over there. Uh, that's the, um, I did have a waypoint over there. I'm sure that's the one that I've got. Is that not the one? No, there's one over there. That one says lava. Um, that waypoint there, I found a very similar spot to that one there. There's like a big massive cascade of lava falling down. Um, we've got the big mountain where our house is built. You can just see it down there hidden behind the luggage. So there's the front of our of our home. Um, that's the area where we keep getting killed by that nasty um, sort of ethereal warden or whatever it's called that keeps killing me. There's a bit of a river down there as well. But this land is was nice and flat. The other side of the uh, this this hill, we've got the lavender fields. That's probably one of the flattest areas around. But it's a little bit boring. There's a lot of lavender. There's a lot of trees. We'd have to make a lot of space to get anything in there. So I just thought that this area was ideal. We've also got some mountains over there, some snow-covered mountain tops, uh, some very very high trees over there. I don't know if you can see them on YouTube, but you can just see the outline of them there against the uh, against the sky, well above the horizon. So we shall have to pop out over there at some point and and have a bit of an explore um but yeah i think as far as um as far as worlds go this was an excellent starting location when i started the house i didn't move very far away from the spawn point i actually think if i can remember correctly the spawn point was up on the top of that hill somewhere just behind where i built the house so it was an excellent starting location and i'm really really happy with it i hope you guys like what i've done so far please keep the suggestions coming most of them have been fantastic i have got a you know a bit of a list of stuff that i want to build um some of the uh, open block stuff I really do want to get done. We'll be building things like the hang glider and the sleeping bag and all that good stuff. Uh, somebody did mention doing the applied energistics as a way to have a storage and a sorting facility. Uh, that is something that I'd actually like to do. I didn't really dabble with applied energistics at all when I used to play Tech It or um, Feed the Beast Ultimate before. So I really don't have any clue how applied energistics works i don't know how to get started um so what what should i build first um and what should i aim towards so those of you that have got experience with applied energistics let me know what what do i need to build first what do i need to get started uh, don't don't you know don't tell me to build the most complicated thing straight away uh, but what do i need to get started and what sort of items can i work towards in the future to uh, to make something that is really cool so Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you are enjoying this series of Feed the Beast Infinity, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.